Welcome back to Kerbal Hard and Uncut. I'm going to hit the restart button now. So you found us at the end of last episode, staring. We've got Ballerin. What is your name? Ballerine? Ballerine? Ballerin, Ballerin, Ballerin. Sorry, I should know that. I sh you're the only pilot I've got. It's, there's no excuse. Ballerin Kerman basically staring down at them. Oh, that means we're on here. We're now identified as about to hit the moon and in low, in low orbit. Right. Um, should probably... Uh, Turn the craft over. Would probably be a good idea. Use a bit of that electric charge we've got. Of course, we can't get it back once we've used it. So there we go. Right, I'm going to let this just accelerate down. I think we're going to go to at least 50. Um, I want to go 30. 40 is a nice midway. 40. Right, 40. And then fire the engines. That's how, how fast are we slowing down? Oh, this is not as fast as I would like. But it will, it will, it's fine because as we slow down, we're going to fall slower. So 40 was where we did it at about 700. Yeah, we got, we're fine. We've got, we've got ages. In fact, what I'll do is I'll take it down to about, I don't know, 400, something like that. Take it down to something manageable and then we'll do stuff. So we're on about uh, two and a half thousand meters per second coming up. Uh, if we've got, if we've got anywhere near 2000 left when we actually are landed, I'll be, I'll be shocked. And I'll be like, why was I even worrying? Um, we're coming down on a crit. You know what? I want to do that. Do that a bit. There we go. Just to... I think I've actually made it worse. I think we're going to make it worse. Okay. Okay. So what I can do is once we get to about 100 meters per second, I will, I will slow down my thrusting a little bit. Um, because... You know, right? Yeah, we're we're going to be. Am I going to be perfectly in that crater? That would be hilarious. We've gone too far now, so we've got the engine basically off. We're now falling. This is wasted delta v right now, by the way, everybody. This is also known as how to waste your delta v 101 with the sea monsters. So we've wasted all that delta v, actually getting ourselves to where we are, and now we're going to come down on a hill. Okay. We might be all right because that might be a crater on a crater if we're really lucky. If we are really, really lucky, it might be a crater on a crater, but I don't think we are that lucky. Right, we're going to pull this down now. All right, I don't think we are. I think that's going to be a crater edge, which is going to be a big slope, and this thing's going to fall. So we're going to put ourselves that way. That's, that's how I want to be. Because I want that that side to stop us tipping, I think. Yeah. Um, right. Slow this down a bit more. Okay. We have boulders. There are things that are boulder-like. Yeah, this is uh, this is not the easiest. This is not the nicest. We've got about 70 seconds. Well, I said 70 seconds. We've got about 30 seconds to landing. Uh, we're getting a bit of speed up, so we're going to kill it a bit. This is definitely not the most efficient landing profile you'd ever do. So do not use this if you are doing it. So yeah, we're, we're within the first five minutes of our of our landing of our mission, um, and we're not doing too bad. Um, I've gone, I've lost too much speed there. We're just sitting on this engine. This is just, this is torturous. I'm using fuel up all the time. Just, oh, we can see boulder. At least we're not on a boulder. That, that, that would be annoying. I've I've moved us into what looks like a dip within a dip, which is a problem maybe, but we'll see. Right. There we go. That's a nice that's a nice potential landing profile there, but about that sort of slowdown is okay by me. If we have one and a half if we have one thousand five hundred meters per second once we've landed, I, I'm more than happy with that. That's that's not a problem. Get ready to to hit this button so it stabilizes, uses all our electricity up, obviously. Coming down, coming down. Oh, it's gonna be horrible, I can feel it already. Oh, there we go. Oh, turn that off. Nope. Ah! That was an error. That was a big error because we actually rotated on uh, on the flight there. And uh, yeah, I, I actually had, that was my fault, my fault, wasn't the pilot's fault, it was mine. 
Um, that was all me. That was all me. Sorry about that, people. Sorry if you were expecting a nice gentle landing. I uh, obviously did not provide that to you just then. What you want to do is actually land with the engine so that it is so that it is actually starting to accelerate a little bit downwards. It's quite hard to do though, because then you don't have to switch the engine off quite as quickly. Right. There we go. Hold it. Right, we're down. Okay. Whew. Get a crew report. Get some observed mystery goo. So we did a we did technically landed twice there. I'm gonna cl class that as a as landing twice. Obviously we can't get out. We can't do an EVA, uh, we can't do anything like that, but we can get some science. Right, um, we are using electricity as we sit here because we are on a wonk. So we're going up, we're going straight up, straight away. We've done our visit. Uh, go, cool. Right, um, I wanna go that way. That's the way I wanna go, just like that there that's it that is it right our apoapsis is uh, okay let's have a look what are we looking like it's going up that's good i like it i like it a lot um and i'm going to cut the engines there i'm going to turn off the sas and just for the sake of it i'm going to close the landing gate sorry if i went quiet there i was actually trying to focus uh, quite a lot on this so we're going to also grab our mystery goo while we're low down doesn't get as much science but it gets us some science right uh oh hello Kerbin. how are you that's a lovely shot isn't it that is you know i'll have to take a screenshot of that right um okay so what's the next step Brr, we're going to get up to our apoapsis we're going to put ourselves in orbit and yeah uh first of all let's check if we got None of these things are completed because transmit, recover, transmit, recover, transmit. Well, for a minute there, I thought I was going to have to transmit because there are some things that you have to transmit. Right. Uh, we're going to speedy weedy up a bit until I get nearer to apoapsis. Uh, so what are we on? 28 kilometers. So I get about 25. 25 would be good. Come on. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right. There we go. Right. And then I'm going to turn this on. And what we're actually going to do is I'm going to position ourselves about there. Because you see at the moment our, our prograde is slightly above the horizon. I want to bring it down a little bit. Just like so. So we're actually using fuel uh, sensibly. I hope I have enough to get back. This could be very embarrassing if I do not. There we go. Right. Turn that off again. Get this up. Oh, we've got first milestone. Oh, you've recently accomplished our first program. Track. Uh, you've landed on the surface of the moon. You've entered into suborbital flight above the moon. Okay, so we've got... That should be enough to have bought us. Where are we? Where are we? Where is it? Uh, yeah, so we now have it. So basically, we can do our upgrade. We can do our facility upgrade, or one of them. Um, but we couldn't afford a craft. So we'd have to do the poodle thing, and that would probably put us back. Anyway, it's not a bad orbit, that actually. It doesn't look great on the map, but... Um, so I need to, I need to be going, yeah, I need to go counterclockwise. Counter so uh, Kerbin is there, I am here, therefore ipso facto about there. All right, let's go forward. What are we on? We've got six minutes for me to not get back to Kerbin, okay? Here we are, that is perfect. Right, and uh, I want to go to prograde this is where i do it wrong this is where i'm bound to do it wrong you know this is where it's all gonna go horribly wrong i should probably have done it back there actually ah you know what i just need to get out of the sphere of influence of the moon that's good enough is it that's good enough for me right let's go fasty fasty turn oh that's all right we don't drain power when we're doing that do we, do we? i don't think so no so we don't drain electric charge. This is something that's different with KSP stock versus like RP1 and things like that. You would be with Kerbalism, you'd be draining power right now, which would be annoying. 
but uh, realistic. It, it, it's easy. It basically says it costs us no electrical charge to electrical cool? electrical charge to actually have one of our crew on the craft, which I think is quite nice, isn't it? You know, right? So hopefully this is gonna this is gonna jump back at some point. At some point here, is this where it's gonna jump? Is it? Do I have to go all the way to the end? I always thought that it was just a perceptual thing, but maybe it is that you have to go to the end. Right? Off we go. Come on. Why am I not? Why am I not in the sphere influence of curb of Kerbin yet? I should be. I should be. Hello. There we go. Right. Okay. That has that has done some interesting things for us. We are coming down quite away away from absolutely any right. So I need. Um, Radial out, which I believe is this one. Is this the one with the things on the outside? I think I think that's what we remembered the last time. Nope, that is not it. I need radial the other way. When at some point I'm going to learn these things. So radial is that radial in? Do I need radial in? Maybe I do. I don't know. Right. There we go. We're gonna bring this up to a sensible. That's not sensible. Let's go the other way. Um, uh, I could I suppose I could do this actually. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so we'll take it down to what forty, forty-five, a little bit more. Yeah, we go. That's perfect. Turn off all the things. How much fuel have we got left? Four hundred meters per second. Wow, that's that's vast amounts of fuel, though, isn't it? That's crazy, crazy amount of stuff. Right, let's get this thing going. Where are we going? How long is the flight going to take? It's days, isn't it? Ah, so we have to go out before we come back in. Okay. The good thing about maneuver notes is I could put one here and it wouldn't speed past it then. Whereas this thing is going to speed past the curbing like we did last time. Oh, you can see the that that's the uh, the cheaty probe, isn't it? Oh, actually, we could still send something. No, because cheaty probes are weird, weird orbit, isn't it? Yeah, we're just going to get rid of cheaty probe. I think uh, cheaty probe doesn't serve a purpose anymore for us. So we're going to come in at quite a, a chat a pace. Is a chat a, I think it's a chat a measure of speed. Some people say chat for measure of speed. I don't know. Slow down a bit there. Go a bit faster. Get get in there. And yeah, I'm I'm nervous about this because the last time we came in, we didn't have a great, shall we say, a preparation type situation. Right. Um. Okay. So we're coming in and let's do it now. All right. Uh. How much electric charge we got? We've got loads. Got loads of electric charge. Um, so much so that I'm just going to let this run a bit longer until we get lower down. So we've got to go. We're going to 41, and I've got two minutes to land this thing. Wouldn't it be funny if we landed near? The, we're not going to land near the KSC because the KSC is on the other side of the bleeding planet. That would have been awesome, though, wouldn't it? That would have been absolutely awesome. All right, we're going to stop it now. We're going to put ourselves into retrograde. Okay, do I burn this? Do I burn this now? Um, you know what we do? Uh, I do that. I do that. And I do fire that. There we go. Just uh, do that. And then a bit of that. And then we'll go retrograde. And there we go. We're going to just burn that fuel off. Good. Just, just because it's going to help a little bit and get rid of the whole thing right that's going to come back and bite me no doubt but let's go so what we have is a pod we have a parachute we have a heat shield and we have a battery and we have a kerbal can you you can't see your battery in your head there which is quite good i thought you might be able to but obviously you're down here and the batteries up here which is nice um probably shouldn't go in at speed we've got 50 seconds 50 seconds to the end of the episode um, you'll be able to see by the end of this episode if we blow up or not because we are slowing down nicely now We are not yet at our periaps. So I think we yeah, we've captured because we've got yeah There's the apoaps is dropping enough that we ain't coming back out of this atmosphere, right? So it's just a matter of uh, burning stuff off. Let's have a look got ablator is going away We've got look to be fair. I could So if we want to save weight in future, we could actually cut out a blater um, because this is actually reasonably aerodynamic like this 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 way it's pretty stable there we go we are into the atmosphere and this is going to be a gentle gentle sort of come down i think i think we've probably got the right angle here 
electric charge is okay we've got nine seconds so it's gonna have to be i think a pause in the middle of this oh this is gonna be terrible for you all am i gonna survive right so from me until next time have a great one